Hi, I'm Vanessa Woodman here with the Downtown Podcast. I'm with Penn Gillette. The, thing, the aroma of bacon is everywhere. Just using bacon as, as a God source. Um, I wonder if uh, I, we have uh, Thomas Jefferson back here, and he, he was very involved in the separation of church and state, yeah. and uh, you know he, our First Amendment right, and I was wondering if you think that uh, he he predicted that in the future that you know we would eventually worship bacon. <laughs> I, I think he would uh, he would approve. You know the nice thing is that the uh, the Church of Bacon is just a, a wink. You know it's just uh, it's a, a joke, but underneath there's something very serious, which is normalizing atheists. You know it's been a been a long time we've been outcast in this country you know not in the world really very badly but in this country one of the things that uh, we the community wasn't allowed to do was uh, marry you know marry couples because they weren't a church yeah absolutely that was one of the primary purposes for creating the church of bacon it was because atheists were not legally allowed to perform weddings john whiteside wanted to start a church that anybody could join regardless of their beliefs and they could perform weddings for any couples you know they didn't have to worry about whether it's a gay couple who gets turned away by their churches it can just be anybody do you think there's a chance that our currency could uh, change from in god we trust to in bacon we trust i don't think there's a chance of that right now but you know i think god we trust was only only added in what 55. you know most of the uh most of the history of this country has not been as uh theocratic as the one we have now i think we're going back the right way do you do you and do you think that uh, in the upcoming election? Do you think we're headed the right way? Do you think we there's a chance that we? Uh... There's no one that I like. There's no one that I like at all. But maybe you should run. No, no, I already have a job. I have a very good job. And an atheists are, are people too, and that's important. <laughs> yes, we are. Thanks so much. Yeah. Nice talking Thank with you. you. Thank you. Um, so it was a beautiful event and they're bringing beautiful people together for a good cause. I just want to give a special shout out to our very own DJ Lenny. Yeah, they worship bacon, but who are we to judge?